by TKO, the Sauce Boss, Harley Morenstein. He looked so big compared to Aaron in the ring. I, critical said it very well during the fight. Aaron was throwing punches. Harley was throwing grand pianos. I don't think Harley was well, even going hard. I, I know that people watched the last one and they were like, "Duh, Harley's fat and he boxed some gamer." And I want to do it this time. I'm like, "Yeah, well, this guy's gonna kick my ass, maybe." So what's up? This is for a good cause. That's why I did it. However, I only used about 20% of my abilities. I would like to exercise the remaining 80%. I want to fight someone bigger. I want them to know what's going down. Judy! Harley Morenstein versus Johnny Elite. John Morrison versus Harley Morenstein. John Morrison or Johnny Elite or Johnny Hennigan or John Phil in the blank promotion you want to see wrestle at. Me taking on Harley Morrison at Epic Meal Time at Creator Clash 2. John Morrison is in the WWE. Harley is isn't. So he's been eating, what, like 30,000 calorie meals for like yeah. 20 years? Now he wants to fight me. I think he's got a death wish. Oh, well, you know, I got that fight coming up with that big meal time guy, Harley. Yeah. And I'm gonna feed him these cheeseburgers till he dies. Who's gonna win? People in attendance. I know that Harley is fucking ripped right now. Harley in there looking jacked. I wonder if he's gonna lie about his weight this time. And then I see your boy freaking Harley, man. Look at this, look at the shape of this man. You can tell when, when guys are taking this seriously and when they're not. Cause I'm just the bacon guy. He's gone into the ring and held the belt up over his head multiple times. He better knock me out. Cause if he doesn't knock me out, I'll be a footnote at the end of his wrestling legacy Everyone was like, maybe John isn't that strong. Maybe John's not that powerful. He couldn't even knock out the bacon guy. So make me feel pain, John. Make me feel alive, John. <laughs> Boxing again? <laughs> it's actually so crazy that it's still happening. I want to fight someone bigger. I want them to know what's going down. The Doc. I mean, whenever I thought about YouTube boxing, it was always like, if I had to box someone, it'd have to be the Doc. Who else is taller than me? Who else is gonna like really mess me up? I'm talking to you. I'm six foot six. You think you're tall? You think you're the two-time? This ain't a game, boy. And let me tell you something. That bulletproof vest you wear ain't gonna stop these guns. But that. when I handled that boxing match, he was the first person that came to mind. I was like, let's get that bitch ass in here. And I, I called it out and I wanted the doc, but the doc ducked. Um, and he was cool. He was like, hey man, always loved your energy. Uh, but yeah, no. The Crater Clash 1 was a, a top tier event. We had a really good time. Being a part of it was special and it was cool and I loved the people involved and I loved the vibe of it. It didn't have, it wasn't a satisfied thing. I see the other people clawed for it. I done this clawing for it right now. Yeah, I didn't is. have to do that. Yes. I saw what it looks like going to the, the fifth round and clawing for it and you both just don't have it. How are you feeling right now? The nose is a bit stuffed. And I didn't get that with Aaron. Aaron was an inspiration for me, actually. Because the second Creator Clash 2 came up, Aaron was like, I want in again. And I was like, damn, that's cool. Losing and being like, I want to go back in. And I was like, I should go back in. And the next time I go back in, I want it to be against someone that is going to give me a hard time. I want people to be like, he's going to fuck you up, Harley. That guy's going to fuck you up. And when John Morrison came through with the request, I was like, Yes, he will. I am going to be fighting Harley Morenstein. I'm John Hennigan, the man with the most John-based ring names in the history of the business of professional wrestling. John Morrison, Johnny Nitro, Johnny Impact, 
Johnny Mundo, Johnny Caballero, Johnny Fusion, Johnny Religion, Johnny Blackcraft, but tonight here I am Johnny Baboom. Unboxing Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Nitro, John Morrison, John Hennigan, Johnny Elite, Boone the Bounty Hunter. If you know wrestling, then he needs no introduction at all. The man is iconic. So for sure being a role wrestler for that many years, physically his body's gonna be really present. And as you've seen videos and pictures, the guy's very impressive physique. Those are the best comment, they were like, damn, Harley did one side quest and is now rushing the final boss. <laughs> and that's literally what it feels like. Like you're so athletic with everything that you do, so I imagine you're gonna crush it as a boxer too. Ultimately, yes. Yeah. A ton of like natural athleticism. And confidence. <laughs> you're not short on confidence. So much confidence, I might have too much. Daddy Long Dick's coming to the fuck party. <laughs> You're going to be fighting Harley from Epic Meal Time. Real. You're the most athletic dude that we've seen in this YouTube boxing space by far. And I know you have the relationship with Dad. I saw you at Creator Clash 1. So how did this come together? I, I met iDubs and everybody at Creator Clash 1 um, when I was in Dad's corner. I got a call from Ian and Anissa. They asked me if I would consider fighting. I said, yeah. And then they said, would you consider like fighting Harley? After the last boxing match, uh, started partying. Lost myself, you know? Uh, and while having this next level trip, iDubs hit me up. Hey brother, John Morrison wants to be your dance partner at Creator Clash 2. Just throwing a mat out there. And then a nervous emoji. And I wrote back, like boxing? Mm -hmm. And he said, boxing. And I said, interesting. Very interesting. I'm on drugs now. And I was. I was a 7,000 year old space baby from an alternate dimension. <laughs> And they suggested me fighting Harley, and I said immediately, I don't know if I want to fight a friend. Then, they tell me that he said yes to fighting me. He even texted me about the thing. I was like, bro, they want us to fight each other, and he just texted me, might be too epic. I was like, all right, uh, yeah, I'll fight Harley if he wants to fight me. Of course we'll get in the ring and dance. So I was like, yes, this is where we go from here. Let's do it. Yes, sir. A lot of changes this time. First time doing the Creators Clash, and first time Harley fighting. So the expectations weren't too high, right? When we started, when we got this date, it was a long time ago. I told Harley, I said, no problem, I'll coach you again, but you need to step up. I need to step up. You know, I just wanted more from him. And I knew I could get more, that's why I asked. He's doing this because he wanted to challenge himself. He's going in there fighting John, who's been a pro wrestler for uh, how many years, I don't know, who looks like a god, you know, physically. He's taking a lot of risk, you know. Hmm? Good in the boys. Okay, make sure you flush a lot. Don't block my... Huh? Yeah, don't block my toilet. Just keep flushing. You like that? <laughs> Ever since I started this boxing nightmare, I've been slowly taking control of my physical health. And now that I cut the gut, it's time I trim the fat on my bank account. That's why I've partnered with Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more money and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, build your savings all in one place. Rocket Money is trusted by 3.4 million members and you can add one to that this guy right here because Rocket Money has helped me in more ways than one. For example, canceling unwanted subscriptions. I often sign up for things and even after I stop using it, I'm still getting charged month after month. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies recurring subscriptions and cancels them with just a tap. No more getting on the phone or hunting down subscriptions that you don't use anymore. Rocket Money does all the hard work for you. Once again, thanks to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Head to rocketmoney.com slash epic mealtime or click the link in the video description. You can also scan the QR code on screen to get started. We're heading to my gym now. It's not my gym but it's called my gym, to do uh, some sparring. We're sparring Brian. <sighs> the guy I'm sparring today is actually 
<laughs> I think he's bigger, stronger, and more technical than John. I think all the guys that I spar with, like if they really went all out, they'd fuck me up. A lot of them have been doing this for like seven years or so. What is your like approach with sparring Harley? I'll let him throw some punches on me. You know, give him a shot or two for free, give him all this confidence. Then rip him a few shots in the body, make it hurt. My, my arc of this boxing nightmare there is this whole segment where I have to get in the ring with Brian and learn some lessons and get taught a couple things the hard way. But just like last Creator Clash, my biggest enemy is me. And, and my shortcomings, the things that I need to work on and improve is just still the same thing. I should have taken this mouth guard out <laughs> for that whole bit. And again, keep it going. What if my talent is wasted? You see what I'm lacking in the basement. Thoughts as I rap in the basement. But my come up is legend is greatness. I don't care now, it's pedal to the metal. The only thing I can compare sparring to in my mind what I, is what I would imagine drowning is like. Because you're dead tired and you got nothing left in you, someone is still pressing you. It's good because they push him the way he might get pushed during the fight, right? So we're kind of building these experiences, fighting through the fire and understanding what might happen come fight night. Like the round's done and I'm like, And she's like, you're good, you're good, it's in your head. I'm like, yeah, this guy punched me in the nose. Where'd you find this asshole? Bro, this guy punched me in the face. I'm a YouTube legend. Yeah, he's a no, no brother. And if you're trying to test me a beast, you will need Liam Neeson. The chance that you're taking is flagrant. You're testing your luck. If you think you make it out, thank you, Brian. You did much better, man. That's good. You did very good. Yeah. Honestly, I ain't bullshitting him just because he's on camera, you know? You had a nice little. When did I get hit here? I'm telling you, this fight hard you. Why does it have to look like monkey pox though? Why can't it be like a cool little cut? <laughs> My life's a fucking mess. I think I might be 300 pounds. When I accepted the first Creator Clash fight, I was 310 pounds. Like you really have gone through this massive transformation. I think we do like a video where you're like super fat. You're like, I got fat. And like, we're joking, we're making jokes, it's funny. But ultimately like you did, like you were over 300 pounds. We filmed like four epic meal times this year. And somehow this is the fattest I've ever been. You're so fast taking about two weeks just to start filming for the new year. The most discouraging thing to hear looking back is that the false starts never stop. Oh man. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, you know what the good thing is, is now I can see how fat my face is and it's not hidden, so that's gonna change things. And because of pandemic, there was this unique scenario where for one full year probably, the false starts did stop. And that's why I fell off so hard. Pandemic allowed a lot of people to fall off in an enormous way. Like you wouldn't have been at home and got money from the government and been like Uber Eats is like not charging delivery. You wanna stay forward? Huh? Yeah, I'm going to. My gut. <laughs> I just thought right now, and I'm like, I didn't notice it until it's like. Like, my gut's over here, even. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Like, can you get rid of that damage, or is that damage for every. Well, there's gonna be some renders. Oh, shit, my tits are hanging now. Oh, my God, I'm my dad. Physically, like the first time he stepped into the gym, I'm like, no, you're not fighting, buddy. Like, you're way overweight. You, you probably won't even last this training, you know? One thing with Harley is we really started slowly. We really didn't jump into it too quickly, right? We did step by step, baby steps. I started to operate just on a caloric deficit. That was it. So I'd work out a bunch, lift weights, and I would do boxing, and I would make sure that I was not really passing 2,000 calories. I would have a protein shake every day, but I didn't really think about my macros too much. And then moving into Creator Clash, um, I was about you know 276 at that fight. Coming into this fight, the second fight, 
what we really focused on was just stepping it up on all circles, you know, like whether it's his conditioning, whether it's his boxing, whether it's his mental strength. We just really pushed to exceed what we did in the first fight. Uh, I reached out to an old YouTuber that I love, this guy, Louis Marco, a fitness influencer, and he wrote me up a, a nutritional program and an exercise guide to do on top of my boxing. It was until I started measuring really clean food and comparing it to what else you eat. I see your boy at freaking Harley, man. Look at, the, look at the shape of this man. I used to be able to say Harley's like a cheeseburger, full of fat and worth less than a dollar, but damn, he's getting ripped up now. Real good shape. Almost in as good of a shape as me, but Let's be real, not quite. All of our fighters this year are going to look extremely good. They're all going to look like they've all leveled up. And you're looking good. Whoa! Hey, man, how are you? Did you think that your body would bounce back as well as it has? No, I thought my like skin would be looser. Like it's not perfect, but I thought it would be looser. I'm definitely gonna go give it my all because I do want to. I want to impress people, and I don't think I've ever had a bigger motivator in my entire life than when someone doesn't expect me to be able to do something. I think that's when I truly turn it on. So physically, the transformation just allows him to, to do what he's asked of for much longer periods, right? The reactions, the speed, the strength in the legs, the body language, the engagement of him fighting is far superior than what it was last uh, Creator Clash. So yeah, what he did outside the ring definitely helps his boxing. I have like new muscles on my body. I have a mustache. Like it's just things, it's, it's crazy. At least the payoff has been, I feel better. Like my erections are erect now. I thought it was old age. No, turns out I was just fat. Hello? Mikester, what up? Feeling like watching a wrestling match tonight? What do you mean? John Morrison is wrestling at Lucha Baboon, this wrestling show I've been meaning to check out for like a decade. And he invited us. Here we are, it's nearly Valentine's Day. We are at the Mayan Theater downtown in Los Angeles where Lucha Vavoom runs annually their Valentine's Day Lucha Libre wrestling shows. Sorbo, you just got booned. America, you're welcome. <laughs> so like, just like weird. Yes. When I watched that like 40 years ago, I would be like, I'm gonna fight that guy one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. like it's Unless you eat 10 pounds of bacon, and I never once thought, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking fight the bacon guy. <laughs> I was saying I could feel his abs through my glove. <laughs> He's like the most fit man I've ever seen. To stay. He's pretty ripped though. Oh boy. He's a boy. The 
yes, he's not a boxer per se, but we're dealing with an athlete and we're dealing with someone, a professional, someone that's in the entertainment business and someone that's going to obviously come prepare and come fight night. It's just crazy watching John Morrison in the ring being an athlete. And I'm on the sidelines with the White Claw. Like, I didn't really think this through. It's crazy because I have to step in the ring with this guy. My physical IQ will definitely give me advantage. One more time. So, yeah, my physical IQ being higher than Harley's, that's an advantage.